Hello everyone, this is the Perf here to bring you a Dota commentary. This will be a game between International EXL as a Sentinel team versus uh, Mitchell Makers as a Scourge team. And uh, we're eternally in the bans and picks phase in the ca under the captain's mode. And we'll s just speed this up this ban picking phase. Uh, so S Sentinel has banned uh, Morphling and the Wish Doctor. Meanwhile, Scourge, uh, Mitchell Maker has banned uh, the Konkash and uh, Earthshaker. Wedge of Spirit also being banned, also Sand King is in the ban pool. Slaughter, so we might see Self Assassin coming in, possibly. Uh, Lion was the last ban coming from Mob, so Melk is doing the bans. Expect that he's the captain. So the first, there is this glitch that just, the first pick uh, stops at uh, 60 seconds, so it doesn't count the extra timer. Uh, Swan is the first pick coming from XL, uh, EXL. So Storm and Potom are their picks for uh, Mitchell Maker. People are talking a lot and then just spamming the screen. Actually, no, because I'm speeding up the replay, so maybe that's why it seems so fast. Okay, there's uh, Crystal Maiden and Beastmaster being picked up by EXL. Meanwhile, it'll just be Chen and uh, Queen of Pain coming to play for uh, Mitchell Maker. Hero pick wise, this is not. Um, oh, Anti Mage and Juice coming to play, okay. Uh, the captain of the 17 was a bit rushed, so I'm not sure if this is on purpose. Anti Mage, but it is quite a. Fa it's a fairly good counter against uh, this three uh, really. I don't know, mana heroes are. You can't just hear that really are countered by anti mage to some extent, especially Queen of Pain. Her death spells do do less, do deal less damage to anti mage a lot. And Zeus is there because uh, Crystal Maiden, I believe, just for the aura. Zeus is able to spam a lot, a lot more powerful. Rexar is a really nice pick. So picks, uh, in terms of picks, I would say it's even right now. Just waiting for my last pick coming from Mitchell Maker. Come on, faster. So Enigma is the last pick. Really, uh, I guess Mitchell Maker has a better team in terms of initiating. We have two uh, two players like uh, we have a uh, global a uh, global shading like a global invisible for the whole team. We have a blink hero and maybe we'll, we'll get blink dagger on a pusher. We'll get blink dagger on the. Enigma for Black Hole to initiate. Storm can initiate as well. For the Sentinel team, I don't think we have much. The only initiation is basically a roar coming from Beastmaster, and that's not the most, most ideal opening you can think of. So, uh, in terms of hero strength, it's an even fight, but positioning and initiation, Mitchell Maker definitely has the upper hand right now, as I can see. And now both are wishing each other good luck, and uh, we're gonna have a battle at the ruins in the very beginning, as I propose. Uh, the crowd of Malk has spotted Zeus, who's, who's overcommitting. Okay, not gonna overcommit that much. Zeus is gonna move back. Savant does have Stormbow, so they're gonna cover each other. Three, top four, set no. Ward has been placed. This crowd is is revealed. Uh, Malk probably not gonna move in. Uh, the the vulture was attacked one, so it's not a crow, it's a vulture for <laughs> for the scourge team. So yeah, there we go, taking another hit. Chen moving back does not want to be uh, get caught between Sven and Crystal Maiden. Crystal Maiden and Sven knows that Chen is here, so he'll probably pick up a neutral creep to uh, to jungle, and they're just around to see if we can get lucky and then take down Melk. Melk really clever using the vulture to scout around early, so. No, no problems there. In terms, uh, so right now we have in the middle Zeus versus Storm, uh, versus Storm. So uh, Mania is playing Storm versus uh, Blink, playing Zeus in middle. Anti Mage solo bottom against Priest of the Moon. Solo Anti Mage, but well, I guess with the new uh, poor man shield, is is more doable for a melee to a melee to solo. It's not 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 the most ideal situation. And I believe oh, both Savant and Crystal Maiden are roaming around the map, so top we have a solo Beastmaster. So have two roam, not even jungle. Okay, there we go. Uh, might see first blood here. Uh, this is definitely first blood. There we go, first blood from uh, 
Uh, Crystal Maiden gets the first blood, so more wars coming in for Sentinel, really nice. Pusher went down, that's sort of expected. <laughs> he tends to go down first. This uh, running, this uh, running on joke about Pusher. Everyone just makes, uh, I don't know, jokes, makes jokes out of him. There we go, actually, um, Atomage is leaning not that bad against Potom. He already used, I mean, two charges on the Tango, and he's taking a lot, dam a lot of damage, but at least he's keeping up in the last hits, I guess. Um, let's see, four last hits against Priestess. Two D9s and three losses, so fairly even in terms of laning. Really good job by him and uh, Beastmaster. Still, Asana has tri solos, so this is really beneficial for them. Romeo Savan might be a good idea, might not be. As you can see, like Savan is a bit of a carry hero. Wasting him in Romeo is bad. Is not not that good unless he gets a lot of kills. But Savan might go down. Oh, goes down. It's really nice stun there by Mania. Putting him on the last trap. It's like a death wish. And taking down someone with the tower. Maybe over committing too much of to the tower over there. But Malk is desperately trying to deny his own creep. And then taking down the other creep, Centaur. So, Rexar might be in trouble. We have a uh, Chen coming in. Melk, oh, uh, ex exposing him too early. He's holding himself too early with that centaur right now. Rexar knows he's dangerous. He's gonna go back. Two's using uh, clarity, using the long range arc lightning to help him last it and uh, denying a lot as well. Not last seeing that. Well, uh, should have done that, but Two's really going Malini style and just last seeing with the really horrible attack, horrible attack animation. But uh, again, both uh, sides are just farming. Storm goes down again at middle. This is this uh, roaming Savant thing is actually paying off quite some much. Savant is horribly under leveled, level two, but he did he was in a place for uh, in a lot of kills. Imagine if he didn't get any of the skills, he would be still at level one, most likely. You know, the enemies are level four. That's the solos. Du there's no dual lane. Dual lanes. Um, top was a dual lane, I guess. No. We have, oh, we have dual jungle as well. So, oh, both team has dual jungles. Okay, I see. S uh, so Sentinel basically uh, did not want to be out leveled, so they decided to change up the strategy and have a try solo as well. As uh, Emma Mission Maker does have dual jungle and three players jung uh, and three players in their jungle, I mean, two players in the jungle. You know, let's see. Uh, Milk might go down here too. Starts having a mana for a boat, and this will be the end of Milk. Boat. There we go. Down goes Milk. And this, we might catch up to Zeus, Zeus, uh, Dango Zeus. Zeus is gonna go down to Enigma, who just conveniently runs to, uh, runs into him. Level 2 Brynus were being upgraded, being, uh, learned by Crystal Maiden. What level is he? Level 3? I think he, she cannot be more, a higher level than a Savant, so there we go, level 3. Fairly even gameplay so far, uh, 4-2, but doesn't really tell much so far. Last hit wise, we have a really nice, a really nice uh, sounding last hit coming from Anti Mage and Queen of Pain definitely. But uh, Potom might be in trouble. There we go. Dangles Potom and uh, Anti Mage hits level five. Crow coming in. Not sure what's the point of that. Anti Mage has enough to blink out, but he does have level three blink, so the cooldown is is quite long, not the not almost immediate. Oh my god, stun! No stun. Oh oh my god, so Malk misclicked. Basically, he tried to use Tet of Faith on on Anti Mage and damage him while microing the Centaur to do the stomp and just one shot him basically. You said, and then. 